what is being recommended by uh, data services so all they say is uh, let me also open up the tutorial for it, for you to view at it so that it is easy for you even to understand this tutorial is going to be uh, the uh, bible for you guys always you should be using the same tutorial because everything that you will have to learn as a beginner will be in the tutorial so where we have the supporting documents is here so i'm going to use it the same tutorial for myself so i will surpass some of these uh, things uh, put in here because i already have created but we are going to recreate this particular one saying I have I have created a defining source and target metadata. I have already did that is what I have did so far. But if you wanted to look at it in a close manner, what is being given? Uh, let us also see that. Just as a snippet will be useful for you. So log into the repository, log on to the designer, and they give you instructions. Uh, one by one saying how to log on and how to configure your repositories defining metadata so if you see here uh, this is important I will show you and we'll, we'll go. see every job should have a prefix of job workflow is WF data flow is DF data store is underscore DS so the ODS is ODS underscore DS if you have a data flow for currency table, if you have a workflow for sales or job sales or they are giving you good naming conventions. So we are following the same naming conventions to create. And now they say how to import the metadata. So we ha I have created the metadata so far. Metadata consists of table names, column names, column data types, primary key column, table attributes. That's all metadata. And it will try to show you how to configure the repository here he has taken an example of oracle but whether you do oracle or, or mysql it is more or less the same except that you will have to create an odbc connectivity for mysql whereas for oracle you don't need a mysql uh, mysql um, uh, sorry for mysql you don't need an odbc uh, mysql you need an odbc driver whereas for oracle you don't need an odbc uh, driver to be created so I have created the target I have imported the metadata and this is the metadata tables he asked uh, us to import the ODS customer material sales order sales item delivery employee and region but I don't have all the tables so that is uh, I mean I did not put data into all the tables and the target side he asked you to import all this whereas we imported them and define a file format this is the first important thing we'll do guys file format last time we saw this but now again I'm going to do the same so in which what we are going to import is uh, sales office region date and country so there is a table which is having the information about each Excuse me, guys. So there is um, there is a table or a flat file that is being given. This is the same thing which we try to use. I think uh, it is salesorg.txt. Let me see if we have the salesorg.txt here or not. If there is salesorg.txt, I'm going to use the same thing. This is the salesorg. So it has couple of columns in it. I'm going to use the same table and redo from scratch. So uh, see from today uh, for today and tomorrow the class will be very slow the why I say it is going to be very slow is we have to actually follow the instructions and we'll have to start learning the important thing so far what we have learned was theoretical when I say theoretical I was always telling you how an engine performs how many cylinders it has I was talking more about um, uh, uh, the data warehousing concept which is the engine I am comparing here to. Now we are talking about a toolkit that we bought from Target. The toolkit is the necessary important thing slow and uh, steadily we will have to open the engine to see how everything works. So that's what I am trying to show you 
how to make use of it. So I have to go in a very slow pace for the first two classes because you'll have to digest the terminology. After you digest the terminology and you are ready, then we go really fast with the rest of the translations. So for today and tomorrow, you have to have a lot of patience to understand what we are trying to do. Okay, guys. So here, I'm going to rename it instead of sales01. I will name it as sales org because that is what is being recommended. So I will take it off. No more demo is required because we'll name it real job edw sales org 001. But I always suggest to have the uh, job name or uh, job number. Sorry. So in general, I prefer the job number to be. I mean, though data services doesn't recommend to have a job number, I suggest it because in my experience, I felt it very useful. So I have put job number also here. So under this, I'm going to do my first workflow and data flow. So the first workflow I'm going to do is WF. I think Krishna, you uh, got disconnected and joined back. Uh, and there is a little bit of noise from your end. No, it is not Krishna, it is someone else. Uh, yeah, when I mute Krishna, it's a bit better. So I'm going to keep him on mute. I, I don't know if he had some trouble. He is in India and uh, there could be uh, problems. Yes, he had a power cut. So don't worry. Uh, you have missed nothing, Krishna. So we are uh, we are still doing the same thing which we did last week. So you should be fine. Guys, someone of you is, is uh, talking aloud. You are talking about something personal, which I don't like. So, I don't know who is talking. So, I'm, I'm going to mute all if you are trying to do uh, talk something personal. I think it should be Chaudhary. So, I muted him. So, I'm renaming this workflow as being recommended. So, workflow sales org underscore I always intended to have a, a workflow number at least. So I always give the job number followed by the workflow number followed by the workflow name. So I'm doing the same thing here. And I I currently doesn't have anything to do or play with a workflow, but it is a it is kind of a mandatory thing that we advise put your data flow inside a workflow. You'll realize why we are doing it in couple of other classes. When you start using, you'll understand why I am doing this. So in here, the first one which he, uh, which uh, as per data services is, I was advised to do for the sales org dot text. So I'm going to say data flow 001 underscore 01 underscore sales uh, org. So here is a real matter which we will have to now work on. Defining a flat file. You will have to define a flat file only then you can use it. So now I am going to go into the flat file section of, of the objects and I right click and say new. Today we are going to do it for the, for the uh, same file which is being advised so that we will not uh, deviate from the tutorial. So flat file underscore sales org that, that is just an uh, indicative name guys this is the name in data services the flat file is named as sales org ff underscore sales org in in data services and 
Is it an adaptable schema? No. Parallel process threads? No. Uh, and, uh, and location? I can say it is local or because my mission is my job server, I am calling it as job server and root directory. When it is asking directory, I have to go here, copy paste the same um, path so that it is easier. So I am doing it. The moment I put this, you will actually get the data. So file name. I think it was sales underscore org dot txt, but let me check one more time. Yeah, it is sales org dot txt. So I put sales underscore org dot txt. It is a comma separated file. So when I give the file name, you see here, and you remember the first column or the sorry, first row has the column names. So I go here and say write row header so it it gave me the row headers here i save it and close that's all we have, we'll have to do for the first time to get it working so i use the same thing here as my source make as a source and as i told you i want the query transform to be used as a mandatory one i name it as query extract Sales org and here I will have to go and see where I am going to load this, which is my target. So let me look at the tutorial to understand which is my target, and I'm going to use the same. So I was asked to use the sales for uh, sales org dot text, and if I go down. I should see which is the table I was asked to load it. So I was asked to load into sales org. So let me go and find in data services under this whether I have the sales org. So import by name sales underscore org. Is it sales underscore org or something else? Okay, in logical model generally you will not have the underscores, but it should be an underscore. No, my guess was wrong. Let me see what is the name in here. Uh, ODS region. Is that what it is? No. What could it be? ODS sales order? No. As per the PDF, it is sales org dimension from flat file. So, mm, I'm checking what is the table they asked me to put in, guys. Bear with me. So I'm doing exactly as what is being mentioned here. I have created a workflow and I'm creating a data flow under it. And all I'm doing is looking for uh, what is my target table. So drag the sales org underscore dim object into your workspace. So I see the sales org underscore dim is what is being asked, uh, asked to use, but I don't see the sales org underscore dim. Uh, okay, I was in the wrong. Okay, I see it here, guys. You should have told me this. Any of you are sleeping? I think myself is sleeping, but that's, that's okay. <laughs> sales org um, underscore dim. That's the, that's the table we have to use as our target. Uh, there is an error because there is no primary key, but that is okay. We can always create the primary key even here. 